Okay, the topic is John Tucker, the real John Tucker, not the headmaster John Tucker, but the real one. Um, when I was a tenth, new 10th grader, I moved here from Arlington, Virginia, and my parents decided they were going to send me to Fork Union because I was something of a behavior problem, and I told them, no way, Jose. Uh, so I was sent to a small, struggling private school called Arlington Academy. I was very nervous. I'd never been to a private school. The first two people I met did not make me any less nervous. The first was Emerson Johnson, who was six feet seven inches tall, and the second was Mr. John Tucker, who was six feet eight. I wonder what they fed them here. Uh, Mr. Tucker was my uh, modern European history teacher, and he was also my tennis coach. And believe me, uh, serve from six foot eight is an intimidating thing, uh, and he occasionally even got them in. Uh, as a European history teacher, however, he was magnificent. He's one of the reasons I'm teaching history now. Uh, he was a tremendous teacher. He, I always thought that history was duller than dirt. Uh, and frankly, he awakened, awakened in me a, a real love for, this, love for the subject. And I also liked the relationship that I had as far as a tennis uh, uh, player with the tennis coach. In many reasons, that in the honor system is one of the reasons I'm back teaching at North Academy. So I guess, Mr. Tucker, it's all your fault because here I am and I'm all yours. The one thing I think that, that has been the biggest contribution that Mr. Tucker has given the school, and I know, you know, banging our head on the great black boxes as we enter the room constitutes maybe progress, but uh, the, big, the big thing is he doesn't let us, he never let us get really comfortable in what we were doing. We were never allowed to, to sit on our laurels, be comfortable in what we do, and think we were there. And that's the biggest thing, the one thing he can look back on in the school is he convinced us that we were not on a plane, we were on a mountain, and the climb was constant. The story where I, the, the, the story of the time that he, I really found out that he knew who I was occurred, I think, in fifth grade. I think it was fifth grade that we did a scavenger hunt for field day, where we had to collect all kinds of stuff at field day, something from Midway, something from the candid corner, something from baubles, uh, all kinds of just stuff. And one of the items that we needed to collect was a teacher's autograph uh, a teacher who did not teach fifth grade students, which I think ruled out all of the resource teachers and the four teachers who were teaching fifth grade at the time. So I wasn't sure who I wanted to get to sign my autograph uh, so that I could finish the scavenger hunt until I saw him walking around. And I thought, hmm, you know, Mr. Tucker would be the best person to ask, because who else, honestly, is going to have Mr. Tucker's autograph for the scavenger hunt? You know, a lot of people were going to have teachers they'd had before, a couple of people might have had older brothers and sisters and gone for a teacher in the middle or upper school, but who honestly is going to have Mr. Tucker's signature? So I was still fairly short at the time and rather intimidated about going up to him. So I saw him several times during the day and kind of worked up my courage to go talk to him. I'd see him walking around the pit and I'd think, mm, it's not the right time. And I'd see him walking amongst the midway and I'd think, it's not the right time. And uh, I was intimidated and afraid. Uh, that's, that's where I was at that point. But finally I saw him go into the area where they serve, I guess they were serving ice cream in the refectory. They kind of have their ice cream parlor, so to speak. And I saw him going in and I figured, well, he's getting some ice cream. He'll probably be in a good mood. I guess I can go ask him now. So I scurried into the ice cream parlor and watched him get his ice cream. And then he went over and stood by the trash can to get rid of his trash. So I figured this would be a great time, so I ran up to him and I said, Mr. Tucker, uh, could I please have your autograph? And he looked down at me and I looked up at him and he said, sure, Ben. Well, you have something for me to write on? And I rummaged through my pockets and I pulled out a pencil and grabbed actually the uh, wrapper of some of the ice cream and said, well, I have this. Um, and he signed his autograph and then said, you know, asked me how I was doing. I said I was you know, having a good time at field day. He said, beautiful weather. I said, yeah. Uh, and I was so taken aback by the fact that somehow he knew my name um, when I had never really had a formal discussion with him. Uh, I just, I really didn't know what to do. So I took his autograph and uh, I slipped the autograph in my pocket and went off to find someone else because I didn't want to give it up. Uh, and that's really the first time that I remember Mr. Tucker uh, knowing my name. And it was just kind of a really cool experience.